Welcome to Dr. Jester Talks, and I'm gonna talk about uh, the debates yesterday, or the town hall talks, ish, something like that. No, um, I'm gonna say it was a bit biased. Uh, the Trump debate, uh, we had uh, Savannah going forth and attacking him on every single thing. Sure, that's what you have to do. Uh, on a presidential debate. The problem is that the guy responsible for Biden's debate, he didn't attack him much, not in, nor interrupted Biden, nor fact-checked Biden, which we all know Biden said a lot of bullshit <clears throat> about the very fine people, Charlottesville, the, a lot of bullshit. But Guess what? Not even a single fact checked from the uh, from the journalist. Meanwhile, uh, Trump was attacked constantly, even on his facts. Uh, the journalist got super triggered. And like I said, that's how a debate should be. But that was kind of like a nagging teacher. No, 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 no. That's like uh, your mother-in-law questioning your intentions. For her daughter. That's how bad it was. Or when... Uh, or when your parents find out you did something naughty and you got... You got caught. Because you're an incompetent asshole. That's why you got caught. You shouldn't have gotten caught. Bad, bad boy. Uh, or uh, she was... Annoying as well. She kept asking the same questions over and over and over and over and Trump kept kept giving her the answers She wanted about his disease about them um, uh, About the coof about this about that about the coof this a coof there Jesus Christ it was bloody annoying move on bitch. We've got better things to ask. And then I realized that the questions the the people from the audience was asking felt very canned. As in, not only had they read what was reading, written on the paper, sure, they could have written it because it's a way of asking somebody so important like the president, but it felt like something that um, people from NBC would ask. And they were just using the audience as pansies, or patsies in this case, Oops, sorry. Mm. It was a bit odd, but a sure go on. And uh, the best part, or the best bit of the entire debate was the, the woman behind Trump nodding and thumbing him up at the background. That was awesome. But the second most awesome bit of the entire debate was uh, was a woman telling President Trump how beautiful his smile is. You could see that caught him completely off guard, and he loved it. He loved positive, the positive kind of like uh, an island uh, in a, a lost uh, in the sea or kind of an oasis in the middle of a desert. That's how, how it felt for Trump. He loved it. I, I, the president even blushed. He, I, he, that was the best bit ever. That shows how human Trump is. How, uh, how nice he is. He loved it. He's a nice guy. Uh, that, that's why so many people love Trump, because they've decided to ignore the TDSers, and see, and see him for what he is, a very, very nice guy. He, he, he has a very, very big heart. I, I love him. And he, and he even corrected the woman who said it between, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Dreamers and, and the other demo, and the other, other word in there about the immigrants. I forgot about it. Uh, sorry, don't. Uh, and he corrected her, correct, uh, he, and he was nice about it. Damn, that was w wonderful. That was the, one of the best parts. Second to the, uh, to the woman behind him. Uh, now, 
a complaint that I have is the idiot behind the sound production of the debate. Not even I, which I kind of boomerize quite a bit on my streams uh, or on my videos in the past in which either my voice is too low or the video game in the background is too high or the music was too loud. Even I still could manage to do a better sound job than the idiot behind an, uh, NBC. Was that a diversity hire, I wonder? Because it felt uh, like a diversity hire who, who was behind that. Because it was atrocious. It was difficult to listen to Trump and Savannah talk. It was horrendous, the sound. I hated it. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Was the person high? Did they did they get someone a high on cough syrup to do the sound job? Did they even test something like that before? Or was it like me, decided to wing it? Or did they grab someone who never touched uh, one of those machines made for sound mixing and production? Like me and winged it? Because what I know about sound was done using YouTube tutorials and winging it. Like I do everything in my life. I wing it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it fails. Spectacularly. And I wonder why didn't I read the instruction manual? And then when I start reading the instruction manual, uh, why don't I wing it? Because it's boring. And I already lost interest. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a sad joke. Uh, another thing that I loved about Trump is the way he answered about Amy Coney Barrett. He he answered the question that the reporter was asking: Are you going to strike? Uh, is she going to strike down the the abortion rights? Uh, is she going to strike down the all the rights? And Trump kept answering her and telling her that. Uh, no, I haven't had a talk with her, he said. He, he even mentioned that he wouldn't want to mention any of those things in front of her, so as not to make her biased, not to sway her into any other decisions that he is aware of, that the Republicans, there's a lot of pro-life people. But he danced around and made it like a professional. You it, in fact, I'm even going to say he's, he looked like one of those beautiful dancers you see on the Olympics, da dancing on the ice and uh, earning very, very high points. That's how he did it. That was wonderfully well played, one of the best answers anyone could have ever hoped for. And I don't think I could have come up with an answer quite like his. He said, no, I don't want to make her biased he doesn't want to influence her the decision is up to her to do it that was beautiful i loved it that was incredible holy shit that was amazing i i'm not gonna lie and now moving on to biden uh it was boring he'd never answer the questions that the audience asked there was one woman that looked a bit like my dick, just a bit browner, and she had a very weird voice, <laughs> and Biden answer, tried to answer her question by not answering her question, and the journalist responsible for Biden didn't even drill him, didn't even question him, did not fact check him, did diddly fucking squat. That was biased a lot was very 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 biased holy shit on a pickle but i'm not gonna lie i loved trump i of course i could be biased because i love trump already but what he did was amazing i loved it let me drink to that That was amazing. It was splendid. He, 
I don't know what else from, uh, I have to say, but hopefully in the next uh, talk or debate or whatever happens between those two in front of each other and, um, and it goes much better. Because quite frankly, based on what I have seen, definitely Biden cannot win. I'm worried about America. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on my next video if you want more of this beautiful mug. Good night.